well, two very happy black-backed jackals munching down on the remnants of a wildebeest stomach. Now, we came through this area last night trying to desperately get out of the rain, and uh, there were hyenas chasing big herds of wildebeest up and down, so I'm pretty sure and this is the leftover of the hyena kill from last night, and there are some hyenas still munching on what's left over off to the right. I think it's a wildebeest. Um, let's go have a closer look, maybe. There we go. There's some zebra in the background as well. So there's just so much happening in this area at the moment. Let us see. I'm trying to see if I can see any bits of carcass around that might uh, tell us what the, the, the hyena and jackal are munching on. Let's go a little bit closer to the hyena. It's always nice to catch up with a jackal. Now, you do get both black-backed and side-striped in the Mara. I've only seen side-striped once, um, and that was close to the Sand River. Uh, black-backed are definitely far more common. There we go. I think it's a wildebeest. I can see a piece of leg in that one's mouth. <laughs> Looking guilty, as always. I do love hyenas. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people up here are not the biggest fans of, of hyenas. I still really do enjoy them. I think their, their range of vocalizations is absolutely astounding. Now, remember, if you want to ask us any questions, hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Now, it's so clear after all the rain last night that I think... Do you think we're going to be able to see camp from here, Dave? Maybe. I think FC might be just tucked around the corner. It's in... The, let me just get my bearings. It's in that valley there. Let's see if we can see if where Kirsten is sitting. Uh, FC's hiding just behind the... Ooh, Jackal's fighting with the vultures and marabou stalks. Let me just move, move back a bit. And James is wondering, where do Jackal's typically den in the Mara? Well, wherever there's a suitable hole in the ground. So, old termite mounds... Oh, when do they? Um, they? They'll den throughout the year. They're not very, very uh, specific on um, the time of the year they den. So it, it all just depends on the individual pair. You know, marabou stalks, white-backed vultures, and black-backed jackals. Uh, we're just missing a couple of vulture species to have the whole cleanup crew here. I'm just having a quick look. As I say that, there's some low-flying competition coming in. Mm, still white backs. Yeah, white back vultures. No rupels, griffins, or lappets yet. Uh, Marabou's got the, the choice prize. Now, where are those jackal gone? Let's have a look. Maybe they're taking that piece of meat back to a den. Now, David's wondering, are jackals similar size to wild dogs? Uh, not at all. Um, they are much, much smaller. Uh, jackal's probably a little bit bigger than a Jack Russell, uh, whereas a wild dog, although not as heavily built, is probably about the same size as a German Shepherd. Uh, oh, there they are. It's amazing to think I mean, we could barely see 10 meters in the rain last night, and uh, now we can see for miles. Well, it's not too often you see jackals with fat bellies, and those are quite fat bellies for little jackals. I'm just trying to see... Oh, actually, I think she might be pregnant, looking at her. Or is she lactating? Actually, I think she's lactating. 
Uh, can we zoom in on her tummy, please, Dave, if you get a chance? Yeah, looks like she's lactating, so they do have a den around here somewhere. And you can see the suckle marks around her teats. But if she's still suckling like that, you'd probably find the pups are still underground and they haven't um, oh, not spending too much time away from the den yet. Uh, there's quite a lot of spots that would make good dens around here. Lots of termite mounds. Oh, Dave, low flowing, low, low flowing. That's what happens when you stay up all night. Low flying Rupal's Griffin. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, Dave. Lovely. And I see immediately the white back vultures move off. Even the marabou takes a, a cautious step. Hank uh, is wondering, are griffins considered vultures? Yes, most definitely. Um, it's just a, a different name. Uh, and they're generally a bit bigger. There are two species of griffins that can possibly occur in Africa. The Rupal's griffin being by far the most common. Um, actually, just before... Um, I came up to Kenya. There was a Rupal's griffin who got a bit lost, who ended up in the Sotbansbach in South Africa. Got another low flyer coming in. Test day of skills. Ooh. Oh, I love watching them fly. Oh, that's a battle scarred one. Look at that. Another Rupal's. But a bit of a bedraggled looking one. Is that Rupal's? No, it's just a really big white back, I think. No, it can't be. It's too big. It's just lacking that color on the bill. It is. It's a really big white back vulture. He's got a bit of down attached to his face. Woke up a bit late, rushed out of bed, forgot to wash his face, and still late on the carcass. Silly, silly chap. Hi, Aaron in New Zealand. Aaron's wondering, do any other stork species apart from the marabou stork scavenge? I'm just trying to think now. Um, I have seen yellow-billed storks and... Uh, and and salable stalks and that scavenge, but but not normally. It's it's very rare. Uh, they're not dedicated scavengers like marabou's. Okay, I think it's time for an adventure. Dave and I are going to move into the herds and see what's happening on top of the ridge. As I say, I went. I haven't been here properly since about the end of May, and. Uh, well, last night doesn't really count. We were trying to keep dry um, and out of the rain. 